hope you are well. Welcome to this video. Why am I talking about a plane crashing into my bedroom? Well, because that's literally what's happening. Uh, if you're new here, I'm a psychic medium and I have been getting uh, world messages about the world, uh, nuclear war, um, predictions about uh, disasters, all sorts of <laughs> doom, gloom and despair recently. And I've been talking about it since December last year and I had a very strong dream. Um, now, some of you who are regulars here, thank you for coming back. Hello. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe and welcome to all of you. Uh, you will know I talk about this plane and this is on the world stage and uh, the giant tower in the water as well I talk about, which is the world's tower. If you know about tarot cards, there is a tower coming in for the world. And basically, I talked about this plane that is like a ghost plane, but it's huge. It's oversized and it comes through this building at me. It's doing it now. It's been doing it uh, an awful lot. Then it went quiet and then more. I have been um, shown images of planes from past, present, future crashing into the sea. I've seen all different airlines. And last night I saw something. Uh, well, I say last night. It was this morning, really. Uh, I woke up with a start. My neck is killing me because I was so tense. I've had dreams like this before. I did think it was about me at first, but mm -mm, I was told very firmly that it's not. I'm going to talk about it straight away because uh, I tried doing this video just before and things were taken away from me. What I was talking about, I couldn't remember anything. It was very strange. I had to stop. And start again. I've had a lot of poltergeist activity for the last couple of days. Um, lots of different things coming in. I, um, since I did that last video about Archangel Michael's warning that we, as uh, psychic mediums, um, star seeds and light workers, you know that type of thing, uh, we're all being watched at the moment. And I don't know if my little transmission is my spirit guides, the shadow men, men in black, uh, call them. Uh, was it disrupted so I'm going to get it out quickly uh, yeah uh, you do want to check out the video tonight it's about uh, nuclear war Putin the works it is very political lots of shocks shock surprises and if you're new here check out the previous video where I channeled some Winston Churchill about all of this stuff as well and messages from Archangel Michael so anyway this dream now if I haven't mentioned I uh see all different airlines and uh, the most recent ones uh, i'm watching here this air italia these i don't know if they, i did in, in the past get something about emp the emp pulse yeah that was going to uh planes were going to fall out of the sky uh but i haven't heard of that anymore but i've started to see the planes again and whatever it is is happening over water. I do see a plane that's showing me now a gate crash into the Isle of Wight. And, uh, I, d I don't know. Remember, these are timelines that we can come off if we take action. Just by me talking about this, it may stop it. So, you know, um, uh, planes, uh, some from the past. They always got on a, a time, time being disrupted by interdimensional beings. The scary shadow people, not my lot, are from the 10th dimension and angelics. Um, guardians of the planet, they want me to say. So uh, all these different planes are be crashing. One, all different airlines. But uh, I did see British Airways one uh, at one point. Uh, but this one was definitely, somebody suggested to me that it was the Airbus. I was seeing the 380. I definitely think so because this was so vivid. I was absolutely, I'm not kidding you, I've been terrified. I was showing it planes to me now. It's all about the fuselage and there's a reference. It rem I will tell you about the references after. I'm going to tell you about this now. So I go in my dream to this building, which is like a, like a little square box and there's a built up area around it. I don't know why I was there. I think my son was with me. I, well, uh, why I was going, I wasn't sure I knew, why I would know these people. There are lots of people in this very small building and it was like a flat on the top, like a square. And outside there was a lovely area where they, um, and 
I swear I've been there in my dreams before, the more I think about it. And that little deja vu experience, but in the dream. And outside, because I remember saying to my son, oh, you, the, you, whoever used to live there used to have a nice table out the front there. And it was lovely in the open air. But we went went in there and there was some sort of gathering party going on, whatever. People talking. Uh, it, it was a lovely little place. And um, having wine, this, that and the other. Talking to these people. And then there were some other things going on I can't. I can't remember and I didn't know any of these people but my son then this guy came in and he it was like he was coming back from work somewhere and he had um a child in a push chair he took the child out and he opened a glass door and went outside and this is where it gets really scary and he uh he stood there with the child and for some reason I followed him out and went and stood there and I was like this because now this is all I could find in the moment because I have to rush and tell you this. So there was a grassy bank area and then there was water in a long line and here is this plane and it was a 380 because I checked it out this morning and it was um, Emirates plane, definitely an Emirates. Right, the colours, the tail, the everything, right? So this is the water. This is all I could find. It's pathetic, I know, but I had to get this out to you because I actually got told to hurry up when I tried to do it the last time. Do it again and hurry up because it's important. Um, so this is the water. I don't know how I'm going to... So this plane is here and there's some grass here and it's just suspended there right it's like that okay so and the the house is like right here okay so i'm not gonna actually say it was this close to the house right or to the flat on the top okay so it's down there and what was really strange was it was doing this so I'm going to come in closer. It was moving like this. As if it was stuck in time. It was the weirdest. I couldn't even say it was going frame by frame. If you, you know, it wasn't. It was doing, I don't know if you can see. Like that. And I was absolutely horrified. It was so low. It was so near where we were. Everything. Didn't touch us. It was odd. And he just stood there very calm with this baby. Now, I've talked about how spirit show me as a baby all the time. So I don't know. But it was definitely Emirates. And the nose was sunken. It was definitely the Airbus. No doubt about it. I saw it on the TV and on YouTube this morning when we looked. So that plane said, it is the most vivid thing I have ever seen. Well, I've seen many vivid things as a psychic medium, but this was out of the box. Okay. And then all of a sudden I heard the engine start even more because to me it was going to crash and it was going to take us with it. Yeah. And it started to, so it's like right down here, it started to do this and it started to move. And the wings didn't touch us, but so I'm standing here, okay. And the, this is the yeah, say this is the house, right? And then it went up like that, and it's the fuselage. I saw the fuselage, fuselage, and that's a really important bit, really close, like that. And I thought, oh my god, it's going to take us out, but it didn't. It cleared it, and then I woke up like I is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. I've seen planes crash since I was young. I had a thing about planes. I don't particularly like flying. I love takeoff. I love landing. I hate the bit in the middle because I don't like turbulence. Okay. I've flown many times, but I haven't flown for years because I'd rather go on a cruise ship. And they tell me now not to go on a plane. So <laughs> make of that what you will. But I've talked about this plane before that comes through here. It's coming through now. 
I don't know why it started appearing again. It's like a ghost plane. And it's to do with the fuselage. I keep seeing the images of this fuselage. And it's really weird because it's like I, I before they kept showing me images every time I closed my eyes when I was getting ready. And I actually got into tears because it's absolutely terrifying. And I'm doing it now. And it's the fuselage is coming through me like that. It is horrendous. It's um, and it goes into my bedroom. The first place I saw it was in my bedroom, and it is plane that goes through my bedroom. And it's really scary because I keep hearing the planes because I'm on the flight path for Birmingham Airport. So <laughs> it's just and when I was young, I was on the flight path for Newcastle Airport. So the, the water is always involved. Now I can look at that many ways. Um, emotional, uh, I always get water. Everything comes from the water. They always tell me that uh, with stuff. Uh, so I don't know uh, what is going on. If you've got any ideas, let me know. It's really uh, important. It is world stage. I asked them to confirm that. And they really confirmed it because if they want a message really clearly, and I'm not sure, they will write it down on a whiteboard and then hold it up like that to me. So is this world stage now the the video uh that's coming out this evening they asked me to put on when i recorded it uh the date everything so something is imminent and i was getting things for attacks um all sorts of stuff stuff is imminent so i don't know what it is with this fuselage but there's definitely something to do with time I talk about time being compressed a lot, time being messed with. They keep talking about this energy from World War II is back on the planet now because we just didn't heed what we were supposed to do. And I've just seen 55 on the clock, 11, 11.55, which is a massive number for change for me. Um, so there's a, something big coming in. And I have talked about the plane being a metaphor for the angel of death as well in previous videos. But I'm not sure what's going on with this one. It was like it was skulking in the grass at the side as well. It, it's kind of weird because it was poised. It's, it's this. I mean, I've, at first I thought, oh, they're talking about me and my trying to get success with things and what have you. No, this is the world. So I. It, now, they did talk about um previous video, and I don't know if it's the one I've been talking about, that we haven't made the jump that we were supposed to to evolve. So I don't know if it's something to do with that. But there's definitely something on the card. So be vigilant, be aware. I don't know where that came from, but that's what they're telling me. I'm going to do a couple of little cards, see if we can get anything. It also reminds me of the Donnie Darko movie, which I that was referenced to me once before in a reading uh, that something was being attached to me and it was to do with time um going outwards in the donny darko uh movie and um, there's also the reference in that to alice in wonderland with the white rabbit uh which the everything for me is alice in wonderland and um dorothy out of kansas because that's i'm out of my dimension out of my time as a star seed so let's see if we can get anything about this plane what is the plane? Oh, stop it. It's just planes. Ooh, cleaning house. Hmm. Well, that to me is, that can be um, a clean out, a purge of some, some so, so it could be life. I just hate giving this kind of thing. The past returning. The past that was kept is returning. That's also one. That's part of, um awakening being seen something coming out of time that figure is uh, doing that the cat's intuition it's this looking out of a window into another dimension, into other realities, uh, other time periods that are being compressed, cleaning house. There's a purge going on, there's too much clutter, too much spiritual clutter. 
on the planet. I'm getting messages now. Cat's important or saying intuition. Mediums, psychic mediums, people I'm talking to. 15 or 5. Oh my goodness. 15 or 5. That, another big number. Awakening. Something from the past returning. They talk about this ice age. It's going to come at some point. Deep freeze. It's plain. Holding new information. Magical shifter. Map shifter. Right, I've got earthquake. The minute Teutonic plates moving earthquake when I saw that. Okay. Okay. Metatron Merlin. <sighs> Messages coming in from Metatron and Merlin. That uh, Merlin was in my healing uh, on my other channel the other day. Uh, I can put a link to that for you. Uh, things being moved, things being shaken up, things being purged. Sacred pool. A flow of words will come. A rhetoric to be born. A new beginning, new time. Now I'm seeing the people in white who are the new souls coming forward. I've talked about these people. I see uh, it, uh, see into other dimensions. I can see them on the wall. I can see them in my mind. All these people standing, waiting. We see the plane. The people who are standing there, men in black standing there. The time has come for it to be known. I'm channeling now. But... That the world will end if action is not taken. Destruction is devastating. We seek to stop it. Please help us. Watch the skies. Watch your world. For they come soon. Those who do not care will seek to ravage the planet from dimensions other than yours. They are already here in many cases, in many states and worlds. They're talking about the um, like your world um, and the other dimensions that I've talked about in previous videos. Please be aware, we will give you new messages soon. Heed the words that are given. Be vigilant. Be aware, many attacks come to you now. Stand firm. Hold fast. We will not abandon you. Take care. Right, I've been asked, I love it when I say end of transmission. <laughs> That's the alien guides, my um, to dimensional beings. Yeah, earthquake. I'm seeing San Francisco Bridge. Mississippi floods. UK London floods. Devastation fires going across Australia and Canada. Plagues will come and go. The world must hold fast. We will not abandon you. There's the message. I have given it. Uh, quite shocking. <laughs> the one tonight's going to be quite shocking. Yeah, we are rock bottom, apparently. But, you know, we've got a rally. Everything's a balancing act. Yeah. Anything. There will be peaks of joy that we must hold on to past, present and future to get us through. And the world's going to have to make a choice about which direction it's going. It's reached zenith and it has to make a choice now. So I'm going to stop there. Uh, we'll talk about that next time. But yeah, this plane is terrifying me. And the poltergeist activity here, uh, if I haven't said already, is... <laughs> there you go. Did you hear that? <laughs> I know it's not a temperature change in here. That bottle that pinged has been standing there for days and days. There's no heating on. There's nothing. Nothing's changed. And this is the area uh, where it's been happening. 
uh, we had lots go on uh, night before I put it in my community tab. I had tarot card packs fall over. I've lost a pack of tarot cards. I did a video. I've got the three cards, the, not three cards, five cards that I did uh, uh, used to uh, help with the messages because they sometimes want me to use cards i don't need them but they want me to use cards to show you an illustration of what they're trying to get across and the tarot pack's missing we had things fall over here last night we had things fall over um the other night lots of taps going on bananas fell off the um the fruit bowl hit my son's glasses out of the blue really loudly got no idea i like to think it's my mum who died recently but it's not her <laughs> i don't know what's going on but it was after the uh one about the video i did about from archangel michael saying we're being watched so yeah time to be oh there you go archangel michael michael the chariot so archangel michael is protecting us uh, taking care of us and helping us, directing us. And I'm being used as a channel for that, I'm supposed to say to you. There are others as well, but I'm being used as a channel uh, from the angelics, uh, the guardians of this planet. Yeah, definitely. Um, delivering from persecution. That's Misrael. So these are angels that are coming in. Okay. Anil. Breaking the circle. Uh, lifts opposing barriers. Brings victory. So their intention is to protect this world from invading forces. Uh, via the fleet. And that's up there. And uh, to protect all life on this planet. Right, I'm getting a lot of messages coming through. This one's important, the magic stream. It all comes from the water. We're talking from Atlantis. There is a force. There's something underneath the water. I have to stop because otherwise I will go on and on. And I want to keep your attention um, because we all switch off after so long. And it's very important. But it's definitely coming from the water. I will do another uh, video soon. Because they're going to show me more and more. And they told me it was going to be horrendous. So, um, great. Okay. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading uh, with me. Uh, if you want to know more about your life purpose. I can do readings uh, with that for you. And um, I have a... Uh, please contact me direct. You can check out my website. All the links are in the description. I can do that for you. I do other tarot, I do tarot readings as well. But... I can do, I do channeled readings and I've got some other channels going up. They want me to work with um, animals, uh, elementals, everything. So I'm busy setting up the Elemental Shaman channel. I have all my other channels that are showcased. Uh, some of them will be on the end screen here, showcased on uh, my page. I'm getting them all up and uh, healing channel. I'll be doing that. I'll be doing healing animals, things like that on my element, elemental one. Let's do with the sea as well. There's so much they've got me doing. Uh, but readings, and if you want a distance healing, uh, check it out. There's a new healing on my healing channel, like Angel Healing. Um, I am busy sorting out a course for teaching people how to heal um, my own way. Uh, I've made uh, head roads into that. So uh, with the help of someone. Uh, so yes, let me know. And if you want to join this channel for extra perks and to see these videos ad free, then please do so on exclusive vids as well. I shall see you later. Take care. Bye.